I think that Nebraska is really close because the defense is really good. Um, and I think that's where you see the the meat of the progress is is the defense playing really, really well and shutting down some of these these top running backs, these, these top offenses, um, and, and giving the offense a chance. And in, mi- in many of these games, if the offense just scores 30 points, uh, they're, they're probably a one or two loss team right now. Um, so close is a very relative term. I feel like right now with, with this Nebraska team, I, I really don't know how close they actually are until they fix the offense, particularly the quarterback position and the, the offensive line. I mean, Ohio State's got some great def- defensive linemen, right? But our left tackle was just getting blown by the entire game, the entire game. So while some of it's on Martinez, I mean, he has no time, no time to throw the ball. Um, the running back position is, is a question to me. Uh, we, we don't see Marquis step for four weeks, five weeks. And then, uh, you know, we get the ball back. It's crunch time where we, we need, we need to score and Marquis steps playing. Uh, maybe, maybe that's cause he's the best in pass protection and we, we, we need to throw the ball, uh, but still kind of mind boggling there. Uh, Samari Ture had a great game. He probably, I know at one point he was four catches with 150 yards. He probably ended up, he might've had one more. So, I mean, he had a great game. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, just, just another, another massive flop. I feel like by the offense. Um, so, so as far as, as far as where we go from here, um, Nebraska is not going to a bowl game. Uh, the worst case scenario now is obviously three and nine. And when you think about three and nine, you, then you think about them being one and eight in conference play. And I mean, I know that the big 10 West is a mess right now, right? Like I'm watching Purdue right now and they're up 21 to seven on Michigan state. Uh, Purdue's going to probably win this game um, because Michigan State's due for a loss. And so then Purdue has a great chance of winning the Big Ten West. Um, So just the West, the West is a mess right now. I understand that. But but you see these teams like Purdue. Uh, Illinois got their second ranked win of the season today uh, against Minnesota, number 20 Minnesota. You see teams like this and and there's, they figure out a way to get a few of them, right? And, Nebraska doesn't. They're they're consistently consistent and making terrible mistakes and the basic things they're not able to do. They 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 make incredible plays sometimes. Uh, Martinez creates, had that great play to Toure down the field, had a couple interceptions, but they're just really consistent at being consistent at, at being terrible with the basic things. Um. Like what, Martinez rolling out that one time with a wide open receiver and he runs out of bounds on third and third and eleven. Um, you got to make that play. You got to make that throw. There's there's just there's just a lot of things like that 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 we're just consistently bad at. And I mean, I keep harping on it, but you got to find somebody that can kick the ball, that can kick a field goal. I mean, that's terrible to miss those, particularly that second one. I mean. You, you got to be able to, to find find somebody that can just make a, a decent, decently close field goal. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, the West is crazy right now, but Purdue could win it. Um, we're out of a bowl game. We play two teams that we haven't beat in, what, five or six years with Wisconsin and Iowa. Um, so, I mean, if Nebraska goes, you know, which is the most likely scenario right now, I mean, I, I hope they could maybe get a feel-good one here with one of these last two, but the most likely scenario is that they go 3-9, and nine, and their only conference win is Northwestern. 